Welcome back to the Reckless Rents Garage. I'm Chris, and today I'm gonna to be modifying my work table. I built this work table several years ago. Um, it was made for my, my little two-car garage that you guys have seen in a lot of the older episodes. This is a 20 by 40 table with a quarter inch top and it's a 41 inch table height. So it was made for a very specific spot in my old garage, but I still use it and I still like it. I think it's time to update it. I've wanted a welding fixture table for a long time. They're kind of expensive and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to justify one. So I figured, hey, what the heck, why don't we try and make our own uh, out of what I have first and then maybe eventually I will buy a bigger or, and better, badder table. But for the time being, I wanna modify this one. I already know this table's not precision flat. Uh, I built this in a garage with a speed square. This, this fixture table, isn't going to be made for uh, aerospace welding. We're going to be we're going to be welding shit box parts on here. So <laughs> let's all make that sure that we're clear on that first. So what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to get out a drill and put a bunch of holes in this dang thing. Standard fixture tables use a two by two grid, so uh, two by two, and um, I have five eighths uh, welding fixtures. So we're going to do five eighths holes. And to help us do that. We're going to use this mag drill from Evolution Power Tools. Uh, I'm a huge fan of their saw, as you guys have seen in my other episode. We're gonna give this bad boy a test and see what this is all about. The beauty of this mag drill, is gonna be locked into place with the magnet and we'll keep our hole exactly where we want it. So that's how we're gonna bust those holes in there. We'll get more on this later. First, we're gonna have to lay out our grid. All right, so this is my test hole, five eighths. And what's nice about these annular cutters is that is a way precise hole compared to a twist, uh, twist drill. So let's see the idea, pop that in there. And I haven't counter bored these at all, which I plan to. So we can put sheet metal down, something else, clamp it straight to the table. Oh yeah. That's freaking badass. That's gonna work really well. One down, 208 more to go.
one bit, did all 200 and like nine holes or something like that. That's pretty impressive. So I did not change this out that entire time. And it's still cutting this like butter. Now, you know, it's just quarter inch uh, mild steel, but that's impressive. That's a lot of holes for one bit. For drilling holes for about five hours, six hours. Could test the fruits of our labor. Pop these guys in there. That works pretty good. You guys get the idea. I could put all sorts of things in here and lock them in. Pretty dang slick. Back on another day, I have the proper size counter bit now. So this is a three quarter inch, which is going to be the right size to really uh, do a nice little countersink edge right around the top. I'm not. It's not going to be super deep or anything on like that, but just to take the harshness away from that edge. Go through, zip through all these holes again with the hand drill and just put that nice little bevel on the top. We'll flip the table over, clean off the bottom. I wanna make a couple little uh, mounts for some of the accessories I got, you know, the clamps and the little stops, just to help keep them off the floor or off the shelf or whatever and store them on the table somewhere. I'm really happy with how this uh, little fabrication table turned out. So with just a few little modifications to my existing metal top table, I made my own fixture table and I'm really happy with it so far. I did one little test project with it where I, I built a new stand for the Evolution saw that I just got and it worked awesome. Being able to lock the materials down to the table, um, use a square, use the little lock bars, it, it has been great. And I didn't really have to do too much, as you guys saw. I mean, I spent a lot of time drilling holes, yes. 
But I will say this mag drill came through in clutch. Um, that annular cutter, these holes are super accurate. That cutter didn't wear out. I have a few other sizes, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to using those more often. I uh, definitely recommend the cutters. This mag drill did exactly what I wanted it to do. It locked itself down to the table, stayed where I needed to, and it just worked. Um, it was great. So just a couple little modifications to something I already had, and it is much more usable, much more uh, versatile in the shop here, and I'm looking forward to continue using it. But yeah, hit that link in the description if you're interested and use code RWG5 for a discount. It's funny, I was thinking about just scrapping this whole table as it was and just buying a fixture table, but honestly, I'm really glad that I made my own or just modified what I already had because number one, is cheaper, and then I also was able to repurpose this and make it work for me. Maybe you guys have something in your garage or shop that you could do the same thing. Maybe you're thinking about getting rid of it. Sometimes just a little bit of elbow grease can go a long way and uh, really change something into an entirely different tool or per give it a whole new purpose in your shop. Anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. Thanks for hanging out in the shop with me today. And until next time, stay reckless.